Hell hath no fury like a fan scorned. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 canceled TV shows saved by fans. You could have just gone in the door with Charles. Yeah, but then what would my catchphrase have been? Knock, knock, who's there, Justice? Ooh, that's actually amazing. Charles, write that down. Already did. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at television shows that were canceled but revived due to fan outcry or intervention. We'll be including shows that spawned a franchise, even if the show itself never came back to air. Guess what? I don't know. Oh, come on, just guess. Oh, Charlene, please, you always do this. I can't guess. There are too many possibilities. Life, death, birth, infinity. Just tell me. <laughs> Number 10. Veronica Mars Veronica Mars was a critical darling for UPN that unfortunately never received the viewership it deserved. This face, right here, my over-the-moon face. Despite successfully making the transition to the CW and improving in the ratings, the CW decided to cancel the show after its third season. Rumors soon surfaced that series creator Rob Thomas was going to write a movie to tie up the dangling story threads, and a Kickstarter created by Thomas and Kristen Bell soon popped up with a goal of $2 million. That goal was reached after just 10 hours, and the campaign eventually raised over $5 million. The film was released in March 2014, although it failed to recoup its budget. She thought about restarting her moribund career with a Kickstarter campaign, but the potential for further humiliation was daunting. Number 9. Cagney and Lacey TV revivals aren't a new phenomenon. Cagney and Lacey was quickly cancelled after just six episodes due to low ratings and the supposedly problematic personalities of the characters, with a CBS official infamously referring to them with a homophobic slur. What about the economic freedom of men whose jobs have been taken over by women? Wait till she gets well, a lot of Well, just to be us. fair, I think this would be a very good time to read the Equal Rights Amendment. CBS gave the show a second chance, with Sharon Gless brought in to replace Meg Foster. However, the show was canceled again, prompting a massive letter-writing campaign. A combination of the campaign, the show's accolades, and increased numbers for the final episodes resulted in CBS changing their minds. Cagney and Lacey subsequently became one of the most celebrated shows of the 1980s. Are we on that again? Some of us never left it, Christine. Number 8. Family Guy Family Guy, as of 2018, is still going strong. Nobody calls me chicken. Outside, now! Hi, we're from Publishers Clearinghouse. I have a million dollar check for someone named Chicken. <gasps> a conflict! However, Fox, early on in the show's run, moved its air dates around without notice and eventually placed it in a highly competitive time slot. Due to the poor ratings, Fox canceled the show at the end of its third season. But the reruns were a huge hit on Adult Swim, and the first and second season DVD became the second highest selling TV DVD of all time. You sold a home? Surprise! Peter, how could you? Whoops. Interested in the show's newfound popularity, Fox ordered new episodes in May 2004, making Family Guy the rare show brought back primarily by the success of its DVD release. We've just got to accept the fact that Fox has to make room for terrific shows like Dark Angel, Titus, Undeclared, Action, That 80 Show. Number 7. Sense 8. 25 years of my life is still Trying to get up that great big heel of hope. By 2015, Netflix was well known for its original and diverse content. And Sense8 was meant to be their flagship science fiction program. It wasn't. The first season received middling reviews, and while the second was considered an improvement, the damage was already done. You want a war? We'll give you a war. In a rare move, Netflix canceled the series in 2017. And while Netflix doesn't release viewer numbers, they must have been pretty poor, because Netflix seemingly rarely cancels anything. This upset the show's small but hardcore fan base, and various online petitions and hashtags were created to save the show. Netflix eventually relented, and a two-hour series finale is set to release in June 2018. Even after everything we've been through, would any of us go back to the world we're used to? Number six, Timeless. You have to go. I'm sorry. Stop saying you're sorry. I can't, I'm sorry. I don't know what else to say. Explain it to me. I can't. 
Sometimes shows are brought back after a lengthy and hard-fought campaign. Sometimes the demand is so high and feverish, it only takes a few days. This is one of those instances. Look, we already lost you once. I cannot lose you again. You trusted me this long. I just need you to do it a little longer, okay? Get Gia back. While Timeless received relatively strong viewer numbers, it was canceled by NBC after just one season. A fan campaign was quickly launched, and Sony tried to convince NBC of the series' potential as a popular family-friendly drama. NBC relented and reversed their decision after just a few days, saying, quote, We heard from the fans and didn't want to be on the wrong side of history. Power to the people. Are you ready? Let's go change history. Number 5. Jericho Some shows like Family Guy go on to live long, healthy lives after revival. Some, like Jericho, not so much. The first season of Jericho faltered in the ratings and CBS canceled the series. You didn't want me, did you? No, not really. Fans, however, did not let the show go quietly, as they created a massive campaign that quickly got the attention of CBS executives. Marine Corps has a motto, Semper Fidelis, always faithful. And I think it's very fitting that in our darkest hour, it was Marines who came to our rescue. Jericho was subsequently brought back as a mid-season replacement during the 2007-2008 TV season. However, the show debuted to its lowest ratings yet, and it was again cancelled. CBS publicly noted the show's devoted fan base, but reiterated their view that the numbers were simply too low to continue production. But if he wants to make that decision, I'm not going to make it easy for him. So I'm going to be standing on this hill in the open with my friends, doing something I know is right. Number 4. Brooklyn Nine-Nine if the timeless renewal was fast, then that of Brooklyn Nine-Nine was a damn near light speed. While Brooklyn Nine-Nine has consistently enjoyed strong reviews, its viewer numbers have always been on the low side, and Fox canceled the show after five seasons. Attention squad, here's where we stand vis-a-vis -vis whether or not the precinct will be shut down. The precinct will be shut down. What? However, the internet went absolutely ballistic upon hearing the news. That makes me feel sad. I'm sad. Your sadness is noted. It seemed as if you couldn't go to a single website or social media platform without hearing about the cancellation in some form. The fervent backlash was heard, and NBC ordered an additional 13 episodes the very next day. Oh my god! Why did you do that? Because I care! Oh, it feels so good! The show is set to return as a mid-season replacement in the spring of 2019. 9-9? Nine, nine. To the 9-9! To the 9-9! That was perfect. Number 3. Community Despite its success, Community was always somewhat of a niche show. Its fast pace, layered and rapid-fire jokes, and somewhat surreal tone kept it from truly massive mainstream success. You chloroformed the gym? Stop yelling at me! You're the ones that got caught! You're the one who's yelling! We're in big trouble! We have to do something! No, oh, I don't know what to do! My whole brain is crying! And while the show seemed to always be on the chopping block, it managed to survive for five seasons on NBC, despite the very rocky fourth season without Dan Harmon. Wait a minute, something's changed. Oh, those 12 additional thumbtacks on that board? They're driving me crazy. <laughs> its cancellation greatly upset the show's enthusiastic fan base, who began flooding social media with the hashtag Six Seasons and a Movie. The show's gonna last three weeks! Six Seasons and a Movie! Perhaps swayed by the ardent fans and potential for success, Yahoo ordered a 13-episode sixth season for its Yahoo screen service. And while that didn't last, perhaps we'll see that destined movie someday. But six seasons in a movie? Jeff, I know it comforts you to look at things through that meta lens, but this is reality. TV's rules aren't based on common sense. They're based on the studio wanting to milk their properties dry. Number 2. Firefly No, Firefly never returned to television. And that's a damn shame. But it did spawn a franchise, and that's good enough for us. Firefly was doomed from the start, as the intended pilot was replaced by another episode. Best of luck, though. All right, let's do this. Guaranteeing that viewers were well confused. Everything looks good from here. Fox further aired the episodes out of order, and even the fans who so desperately wanted to follow the show were left perplexed. The show was canceled after 11 aired episodes. I'm a big girl, just tell me. None of it means a damn thing. However, it saw plenty of post-cancellation fan campaigns, 
accolades, and strong DVD sales, ensuring that the Firefly brand continued in the form of a movie, a video game, and various comics. What's that exactly plan A? Number one, Star Trek The Original Series. Believe it or not, there was a time when Star Trek did not dominate pop culture. Go away, we don't want you. What you want is unimportant right now. While the show aired on NBC for three seasons in the late 60s, viewers didn't flock to it, and it was canceled after 79 episodes. Since the captain usually deals directly with Starfleet in these matters, I assumed that my suggestions might be deemed interference. It flew under the radar until it began to air on broadcast syndication in the 70s, where it quickly attained cult classic status. Fan demand resulted in Star Trek The Animated Series, which ran for two seasons on NBC in the early 70s. The subsequent attention that the show received spawned additional comics, games, TV shows, and movies. And the Star Trek brand has since become synonymous with the science fiction genre. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.